Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create this refracting glass effect in After Effects. I couldn't find any tutorials on this when I was searching myself, so I figured out a way to do it and that's what I'm going to show you. You can do this with text, shapes and even logos, so it's really versatile and you can change a lot about the properties of the glass, which I'll show you near the end. So here's how it's done. First, create your composition. I'm going to call it Glass. Okay. Then you want to add in your text, so write anything you want in here. I'm just going to write glass. And then I'm going to set it to the middle. Then you want to duplicate it. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. And then you're going to want to change this top layer so that it's white. A white colour. Then you want to go into effects and add a blur to that top white layer and change it so it looks like a nice smooth 3D effect. You don't want to go too much just so it looks like it's nice and round. So I'm going to go for 40. That looks pretty good. Then come down here to toggle switches and on your top layer select this preserve and line transparency button and that's just gonna keep the top layer within the bounds of the bottom layer if that makes sense cool so this is what's going to drive the glass effect so we'll highlight them pre-comp them and call that glass effect you can do this with your logo as well and if you don't know how to change the colour of a PNG search for the fill effect and then just drag it on and then you can change them black to white again. So this pre-comp layer is what is going to create our glass effect using what is called a displacement map and if you don't know a displacement map it uses colour data to move pixels of an image. Middle grey will stay in the same position but black and white values will be moved in an opposite direction depending on what you set the displacement map to. This is why our text is set with black and white values and that 3D look we've got is what's going to drive the displacement map to create our desired glass refraction effect. Before we can use this glass effect we need to add an adjustment layer so go up to layer, new and adjustment layer and then on this adjustment layer is what we'll apply the displacement map to. So just drag that on. Now you want to come up here and change this displacement map layer to our glass effect. Change these to luminance so it's going to just take the black and white values and now whatever is under this adjustment layer will be affected with this glass effect. So I can show you this by adding an image. So I've got this nice image, now we stick it below the adjustment layer. You'll see slightly a little bit of movement. So we'll want to change that so that it looks a bit more like it's refracting in the glass. I'm going to set vertical to 40 and just turn on the horizontal so yeah we're starting to get there so this is basically our effect but you can't really read it at the minute so what I'm gonna do is copy our bottom glass layer paste it on the top and create a little outline and make it let's say one yeah, that looks quite nice. Change the opacity down to 25. Yeah, it's looking alright. Okay. I also like to add the opposite, so add a little bit of. make it a little bit whiter. And yeah, we're starting to get there. So now, as you can see, can move this image around and 
whatever's behind it is getting refracted by this glass effect. It looks quite nice. But I think we can push a bit further. Let's add a nice plain background. Um, put that there. What I found also looks really good is if you take this stroke layer and put it below the adjustment layer, it adds this really nice sort of swirly look. Turn the opacity down a little bit and it just makes it look a bit more glassy. Also I'm going to turn on this glass effect layer and put that below the adjustment layer. Turn down the opacity and that will give it a little bit more of that 3D effect which I think looks quite nice. You don't have to do these things, just have a play around with it and see what works for you. So now we'll turn our background back on and you can see it's just added a little bit more looks a little bit more like glass now I think. So that's basically the whole effect. Um, you can of course animate this text however you want. What I'd advise you to do is animate the top layer how you like it and then copy it to all the other layers including in the glass effect layer because even if you move the adjustment layer or this glass effect here it's not going to move the actual glass effect. So there's one more thing I want to show you. I said about changing the refractive properties. You can make this glass look however you like just by changing this effect. So if you turn down the blur, you'll see it's gone a bit flatter. And if I turn on this, you see you get that sort of flat top with a rounded edge. Because that's what this is telling it to do basically. You can also, let's add some horizontal lines and we're going to repeat that nine times and if we add the blur to that you'll see, I think you'll see where I'm going with this. Now if we go out and turn our image back on you'll see it's created this really interesting effect almost like a bathroom window effect which i think looks really cool so just get as creative as you like with it so yeah that's it i hope this helps somebody out i love to hear your feedback or any other tutorials you want to see leave a comment like and all that and you can follow me on my instagram as well so thank you see you in the next one